look back to my channel. So, I'm going to a Blackpink concert. Y'all see the nails? Yep, y'all see the nails? Blackpink down, Blackpink down. I'm eating right now, so I don't have to pay for expensive food at the arena. But I'm so excited. Oh my god. I literally got my tickets last minute. Literally like two weeks ago. This food bus. I already have my makeup done and everything. I usually, whenever I do like concert vlogs, I usually film and get ready with me. But I was low-key stressed, so I didn't record it. We're gonna see Blackpink. If you don't know, my bias is Jenny. And I have two biases. It's Jenny and Rose, but I like but like Jenny's like my main bias in Blackpink. I cannot believe I'm gonna see that woman in in live, like with my bare eyes. Like that's mm. literally insane. I'm not wearing my outfit now, or like I don't have like my hair done or anything right now because I'm waiting on my mom because she's taking a shower. But we're going to the MetLife Day One um concert. I wanted to go to day two, but the tickets were like so much more expensive. They're like a hundred dollars more expensive for day two. And I don't know why. And I got better seats um, for day one than I would have for day two. And they were cheaper. So, but we're going all the way to New Jersey. I'm so sick and tired of K-pop groups just going to New Jersey and New York for concerts that's close to me. Like, literally, Stacey announced their concert uh, tour. And the only places they're going near me is New York. Like, bro. But I'm so excited. I've been a blank since since i was in middle school and about to graduate high school so that's insane never in my years did i think i was going to see blackpink i just didn't think it was possible but i also didn't think it was possible to go to five concerts in one year for me but here i am whoever said money doesn't buy happiness is wrong hopefully i can get some merch we were supposed to leave at 2 30 but my mom had work and it is now 306 so i wanted to get there at least an hour before the concert started so i could get merch I think we will at least an hour before um, the concert starts. Hopefully I get some merch. I don't know what songs Blackpink are going to perform. The songs I want them to perform so bad is Whistle. Whistle is that song. It's so underrated, but it is that song. It's, is Whistle a title track? It's one of their best title tracks, but their best title track is Love Sick Girls. And if they don't perform that song, I'm actually going to walk out the stadium crying. Like, actually, I'm not even going to walk out. I'm literally just going to sit in my chair until they perform Love Sick Girls. Until they come back on stage and perform Love Sick Girls. I need them to perform Love Sick Girls. Like, I will cry my eyes out if I hear that song live. Because I did a reaction to um, their comeback Love Sick Girls like, a couple years ago when it came out. And I, like, sobbed my eyes out. It is that song. And I've never cried to a Blackpink song like that before. Oh my god, if they perform that song. Oh my god. And I also heard rumors that GC is going to perform All Eyes On Me. I think that's what it's called. And I love that song. So I'm super excited. Oh my god. Like, I can't even function. Like, literally, like, not... The emotions aren't hitting me yet. Like, it's... I'm, I'm not fathoming, fathoming the fact that I'm saying black, pink, live. Black, pink. Like, they were literally the first group that I got into K-pop in 2018 when they released it to do, do that like that like shifted the world like oh my god are they gonna perform that song bruh but anyways the songs I want them to perform are did it do obviously lipstick girls whistle see you later I don't know if it's on the cellist I I highly doubt it's on the cellist but if it is I want to see that live oh hard to love I hope Rose does that I think she did perform that one time I don't I'm not on um Blackpink Twitter or whatever because Twitter itself is just so... Anyways, I'm not on there, so I don't know, like, what songs are gonna perform. Don't know anything. I'm literally going to this concert blindsided. Like, I don't know if they switched the set list. Um, because this is the Encore concert. Not, like, the main Born Pink concert tour or whatever. So I don't know if they switch around the set list or whatever. But girl. But girl. But girl. But girl. Hopefully we leave at least by 3.30. It's 3.09 now, so hopefully we get on the road by 3.30 so we can get at the concert. It'll t it's like a three hour drive, depending on traffic. It's like a three hour drive, so we'd get there by like 6.30, I think. Super nervous, but I'll update you guys when I have my hair done and my outfit on, so yeah. Okay, so I'm filming these clips after the concert because I was rushing and I didn't have the time to film before I left. But anyways, this is the fit that I wore. I wore little pigtails, as you can see. Um, I had a top, 
under here. I got this from H&M, but this top. Pearl necklace from Target, like, two years ago. Top from Hot Topic. Skirt from Amazon. And then I have, like, these leg warmer things. They're really cute. I also got them from Amazon. And, yeah. I also have, like, these little earrings. Also from Hot Topic. I think they're really cute. Um, I'm trying not to show my face because I look ugly because I cried at the concert. <laughs> also, I'm going to do a what's in my bag and what I'm taking to of a concert. So, obviously, my light stick. This is the version 1 light stick. Um, I bought this when I was, like, in middle school, which is so crazy. And I've never used it, so I just decided to bring this. And I wanted to get the version 2. But, like, I thought that was going to be, like, a waste of money. So, this worked perfectly fine. The light was fine. It was bright enough. So yeah, then I have my bag that I took. I have Rosie in the front center. Yep, as she should. I have a Born Pink sticker that came with the, the album called Born Pink. I think it is, but you know, the album, the pink version. <laughs> and then I have a little photo card holder. I have Miss Jenny Kim. Yep. Then in the big pocket, I have so much stuff in there. I have some tissues I did not use. I just used napkins when I cried, but some tissues... This is like my little makeup bag so I can touch up my makeup. I have like this little sponge for my makeup. Other napkins that I used when I cried. And some lip products. Then in the front pocket where Rosé is, I have my wallet. Some hand sanitizer, my charger that I did not use. Uh, my fan, my portable fan that I also did not use because it was actually not that hot. Um, a pouch that I carried my batteries in for my light stick. My glasses cleaner. And that's basically it. Other than that tissue right there. But yeah, that's basically what's in my... If you focus. That's basically what's in my concert bag. So, yeah.
doing the very first city of our encore. Kelly <laughs> told me to say hello to second floor, third floor, and is that fourth floor? <laughs> like we needed that moment to really say hi to everyone because this is our first city in the States to begin our encore and we're so so proud
you know, no, we could don't, don't say it. Don't say it. No, we should not. I remember the way that you Mom. first came to YG. Yeah. You have your guitar. Did we reenact the elevator scene? So okay. We <laughs> <laughs> don't like books and stuff. This is like elevator downstairs to say hi to the girls. Oh, so nervous. And have my guitar on. And I was like, oh, who's this girl? <laughs> into the room and like this and then I'm like hi and they were so welcoming hi. Hi. and then all night we played the guitar till morning <laughs> no it was 10 years ago <gasps> that's when I was 16 and now I'm 26 <gasps> Rose <laughs> like, oh my god it's been 10 years so <laughs> Stage. We're just really happy to share um, just today with you guys. We cannot thank you guys enough. I'll eat the song and you guys are gonna cheer to either one of it and then we will sing the one that has the loudest screams. Okay? First one is Let's kill this love.
hello it is four o'clock in the morning i'm so tired and my makeup looks crusty it may not pick up as much on camera but girl in person it is awful like oh my god and it's because i cried <laughs> i'm gonna just give y'all what happened at the concert nothing bad happened or anything i'm just gonna give like a little update and my thoughts on the blackpink concert while taking off my makeup. So this was my first Blackpink concert. And honestly, I gotta say, I really, really, really liked this concert. Um, it's not my favorite concert that I've been to, but it was, like, in the moment, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. We got there on time, technically, uh, before the concert started. We got there, like, an hour before the concert started. And the merch line was not bad at all when if you saw my vlog for the twice concert i was in the same spot same area where i got the twice merch where i got this black pink merch line 10 times faster than the twice merch i stayed in line for the twice merch outside in the hot weather in july early july for like 40 to 50 minutes minimum for the black pink concert like outside where the merch was I'd say a minimum 15 to 20 minutes. It wasn't even bad. And they had all the merch I wanted. And all the merch, I mean, two shirts. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing one of the shirts now. It's really, really cute. I love it. But I got this, and Lisa actually wore this for the encore at the end. And I was like, to win. <laughs> then the final thing I got was this shirt. It's an oversized shirt this time just says born pink tour and it has the date and everything she a bit wrinkled because i had her in my bag but yeah totally forgot i got this but it's to hold your light stick like a little light stick holder oh my gosh i totally forgot about this this is my version one light stick but um you just put it in and you buckle it in snap it closed and it's so cute and it has like this little lanyard thing and you can like wrap it around your um neck and it just holds your light stick and it i i say it's really convenient for when you're leaving the concert because like you have all your merch and stuff and everyone's crowded and everything so i'd highly recommend getting this little uh thing it's really cute and it's really like a uh, well made like it, the material is very sturdy i'd recommend that i wanted to get more but like my one gripe about this concert was that um the tour merch was very plain. Like it's becoming a trend for K-pop groups to have mediocre tour merch and it should not be. I spent like 40, 50 bucks on the shirts and that lanyard thing was like 30 bucks. It could have done better with their merch in my opinion. But like as you can see, I cried. My lashes are literally hanging on by a thread. Like, I cried, but I had the time of my life there. And then another gripe I have for the concert is that Blackpink were 30 minutes late. I don't know what was going on, but 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Like, literally. And the thing that frustrated me was that they kept playing music videos. Like, you know how concerts do they play music videos before the actual artist comes on they were playing music videos and everyone was like waiting 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 and they didn't like announce anything why blackpink were late because i went to the twice concert and the person like announced that twice we're gonna be late like at least 10 minutes or the show was delayed 10 minutes because of like traffic or whatever they didn't do any of that they just kept playing music videos and then by the time the concert started they just shut the lights off and the concert started so like and blackpink they didn't talk about why they were late or anything they were just late and i thought that was weird like why <laughs> why were you late but other than that i got really good seats i didn't realize how good of seats that i got especially last minute i literally got my tickets two weeks before uh today the concert which is literally insane um but i really liked how they performed their songs they performed my top three favorite songs which is uh loves it girls whistle and tally i really liked how they performed them literally cried my eyes out during loves it girls like i i for some reason i didn't think they were gonna do that song but it's one of their title tricks so like of course they would i cried my eyes out like oh my god that song 
you don't know like ugh. it was ever since i heard that song like the very first time i heard that song i was like i need to hear that song live like it is my goal to hear that live before they disband but i really want to see blackpink before they disband i know there's been talk about their contract whether they're gonna continue it or not i don't know if they will i don't know because i don't know i'm getting mixed signals from them like i don't know they're in my opinion i would be okay with either them disbanding or continuing as a group because of course i love blackpink but their company does not treat them right compared to other artists they aren't given the creative freedom like they should like other artists do their the hate they get is really nasty it's literally like the world against blackpink and it's very unfortunate because they're really talented girls they know how to put on a show especially lisa i'll get to that in a second but like they're such nice girls talented girls and the world just poops on them and it's very sad to see unfortunately and i just wanted to go to show my support and i've literally been a blank since geez since i was like 12 so like and they were the first girl group i got into k-pop and they just have like a special place in my heart so i wanted to see them before before they leave i don't know i have a suspicion they might end their contract but if they don't i'm just gonna support them and if they do end their contract i will also support them whatever they choose i will always love them but yeah anyways i really like the concert and they really beat the lazy dancer accusations like i don't know about you but when i went to the concert and i saw them especially jenny and lisa they were far from lazy like i don't know what you're talking about and that's the thing sorry to like get all like ranty or whatever but literally the whole lazy dancer thing makes literally no sense because y'all literally choose the bad clips bad clips and make like oh there's no point of paying money for them because they're just lazy and blah blah blah, blah. literally i spent a whole hour and a half there and i did not see laziness at all like their concert was like top notch like with production the fireworks the dancers the um band they're singing they're dancing like it was really good like even my mom said she'd rate the concert a uh, nine out of ten nine out of ten because they were late lazy dancers where bad singing where no stage presence where also seeing jenny live she's like the pictures and videos do not do her justice especially mine with the bare eye the bare eye she's like gorgeous like she's gorgeous even my mom kept saying how pretty she was and lisa the no bangs is hitting like the no bangs is doing it for me like i don't know why she didn't well i know because she said she was insecure about her forehead but she like her confidence like goes through the roof when she doesn't wear bangs like she ate down uh, and the outfits they look cute like everything about this concert was like so good i would see them again i did like the part where they brought out the cake for their anniversary and was talking about their past and stuff like that was so cute i literally teared up it was so cute and i love rosie like her little accent is so cute like look my favorite solo stage was definitely lisa's she just knows how to perform she can perform i'd say lisa and jenny i did like jisoo's stage i like how she did all eyes on me i don't think she's performed that song before i think she's only done flower so i really like how she got to perform both songs i like all eyes on me more than flower but they're both good the dance she did is so cute i would honestly have to put rose's last and it pains me to do so because i just didn't like how she did gone but we could not see her or i couldn't see her like where they were filming her it was just like her silhouette singing gone i would love to see my girlfriend like straight while singing that song like not just her silhouette um on the ground it's not my favorite solo song 
from Blackpink, like the members. So her stage was okay. I wanted to do it higher, but like the other girls did it for me. Lisa's stage was really, really good. I loved it. Her outfit ate down. Money is not my favorite song. It's actually my least favorite Blackpink solo song, shockingly. So like when I came to terms like oh my god this is my favorite solo stage i was shocked by myself but like her dancing the backup dancers like the energy she just really did it for me i love jenny's stage my mom said jenny's stage was her favorite so yay she did solo and um the dance because i remember when solo came out when i was in middle school and i was like obsessed with that song i was like this is a hit this is a classic this is a bop so seeing that live was like just like so shocking because i honestly didn't think she was gonna do a solo i thought she was just gonna do her um unreleased song you and me which yg we need on streaming platforms like i don't know what you're doing it's been like months my favorite performances that they did was obviously love the girls like i literally cried like it was <sighs> it was just so good like um, I really liked Whistle, obviously, and I loved how they did, um, Pink Venom. Pink Venom isn't my favorite Blackpink song, but the way they opened this, the concert with it, I was like, that ate. That definitely ate. Oh, Tally, obviously. I really liked Tally. I liked Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. I didn't think they were gonna do that, so I was, like, shocked by that. Oh, Type of Girl. I loved that one. Like, ever since I saw them do, like, the feather thing for Coachella, I was like, Oh my god, cunt levels 100, like, they ate. I'm just, like, so, like, spaced out. One, because I'm tired. Two, I cannot believe I saw Blackpink, so I'll probably put, like, a list of my favorite performances. This is my last concert of the summer, um, before school starts for me, unfortunately. Like, this is a really good way to end it, and this might be my last concert um this year because of school so i was really happy that i got to see them before school because i feel like if they would have scheduled like their concert any later in the year i wouldn't be able to go because of school also psa k-pop idols and groups need to stop scheduling concerts during school days or weekdays like what's what's wrong with doing them on the weekend please we have like three to four weekends each month like i don't understand why you do it on like a random tuesday or a thursday like what a friday is good but like a wednesday monday a monday a monday like really yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my vlog this one might be a bit shorter than my previous ones i tried to make it a bit shorter because i do tend to talk a lot and that makes the vlogs longer um, and i'm also like very detailed with like what parts of videos i want to put in my vlog so that's why but i'm gonna try to like make it short so like people don't lose interest quickly but if you stayed until the end i really appreciate you thank you so much for staying to the end let me know your favorite blackpink song or your bias or whatever um i would highly recommend going to a blackpink concert no matter what anyone says their energy is really really good i swear the media only puts out their bad moments like they don't put like the whole performance like i swear it's worth it i swear like the fireworks at the end really did it for me like everything about this concert was really good besides the merch being a bit mid and them coming 30 minutes late but other than that i really 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 enjoyed my concert like it was such a i think i like it a lot more because it was their seventh anniversary and we don't know what's gonna happen in the future with blackpink but like i said i'm gonna support them anyways but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure to make a like and subscribe let me know your favorite blackpink song or if you're going to the blackpink concert let me know or if you went tell me your experience or whatever um i'll be answering questions if you have any in the comments and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i have a playlist of all the concert um vlogs that i've made so you can check that out if you want i went to twice the august d concert txt p1 harmony dreamcatcher and i think that's it so yeah and i'll see you guys next time when i post a new video bye